Welcome back everyone, it's Eric from Mary Kane here today. As you can see, we are back on PTCGO taking a look at another Darkness of Ice deck for the upcoming post-rotation format. And today we're going to be trying out the new Toxtricity, a new mill deck that we are going to be getting and uh, experimenting with here in this video. And of course, guys, if you want any cards from this deck to complete this or any others, you guys can head over to ptcgostore.com. Use that coupon code RAREcandy at checkout to save yourself some money on any PTCGO codes you might need. And of course, our patrons also have their own exclusive discount code as well that gets them an even bigger discount. So if you guys do need some PTCGO codes, go check out our friends over at ptcgostore.com. But getting into the actual deck today, right now I think Mill going into the new format is kind of up in the air in terms of being like a viable strategy going forward with a Ranguru rotating. Um, you know, I think think that really does limit our options a good bit for mill being viable oh yeah we're also losing my cargo gx as well so yeah uh it's hard to say if Mill's going to be like a, a tier one or dominant strategy going forward but i think we have a pretty cool deck idea here based around the new toxtricity and loki just love the art on this thing this thing looks dope uh random fun fact but we're mainly playing this card for risk taker for two colorless energy we flip a coin if heads, discard the top five cards of your opponent's deck. If tails, discard the top five of your deck. So yeah, we really don't want to flip tails with this deck in particular. And of course, to accomplish that, we are playing four copies of Glimwood Tangle. So this will allow us to reflip those coin flips. Now, I know some people might think, you know, where are your copies of Will in the deck? I know that's a card that seems like it would make sense. But honestly, guys, I feel like we need an actual draw supporter every turn of the game. As you can see, we're playing just four uh, research, four Marnie, two copies of Erica's, just trying to draw cards every turn. Uh, I had other things in this list at different points, like Guzman Hala, Bill's Analysis. But honestly, guys, we just need a lot every single turn. And I really don't think we can very frequently take a turn off to play something like Will or, you know, maybe a Guzman Hala or something like that. So just going all in with straight draw in this deck. But as you can see, we do have some other partners for Toxtricity to expedite the milling process a little bit more. We have a 4-3 line of Alolan Muck in the deck. So Alolan Muck, whenever you evolve into it, you look at the top six cards of your opponent's deck, and you discard any number of item cards that you find there, which is pretty dope. That's another way we can discard some more cards. And I will point out, the Alolan Grimer is actually pretty sweet. Uh, there is the one here from Unified Minds has collect for zero energy, draw two cards. So very frequently, if you are starting with the Lowen Grimer, this kind of acts as like a pseudo Zacian B for your deck, which is honestly kind of cool. <laughs> so we also have an Oracorio GX in the list. Really big fan of the Oracorio here for the Dance of Tribute attack. So of course, once during our turn, if one of our Pokemon was knocked out on our opponent's last turn, you may draw three cards. So this is just going to be another way we can dig extra hard each turn whenever something gets knocked out. You know, find our next evolution, find our next energy, etc. Also, of course, have a copy of the Primate Wisdom Oranguru. You know, Primate Wisdom is really just to sort of protect certain resources from Professor's research, but also can effectively work as like a draw one sometimes. So, yeah, I do like the Oranguru here as well. Going on to some of the other cards on the list, we have four copies of Curse Shovel, another card that we're going to have to expedite our milling process with this deck. So it says, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, discard the top two cards of your opponent's deck. So between the Toxtricity, that's a mill five. Curse Shovel, that's another mill. We have, you know, Alolan Muck, which is probably going to net two to three items each time you do this. So a lot of ways to just sort of aggressively dig through our opponent's deck. And of course, with Belba getting banned, yeah, we don't really have that as not. As, as an option going forward so we need basically all the help we can get in the form of these other cards a bunch of search in this deck as you can see we also have two copies of ordinary rod i want to play the second one just because we're actually not taking prizes with this deck so if we prize our ordinary rod we're gonna be in bad shape or if we have to research it away early on so ordinary rod of course is going to allow us to recycle those toxtricities uh then from there just the four twin energy four triple acceleration this should be enough to carry us through the game and sort of uh, be enough in case we prize any copies of it as well. So that's going to be the Toxtricity list we're going to be experimenting with, guys. Let's end some games and we'll show off how Toxtricity is going to look in action. All right, so loading into a game now. 
see the lightning coin from our opponent. We also see Copperage in deck box. So yeah, kind of mixed signals in terms of what we're going to be playing against here. Yeah, this could be Vicable. Could be Picarom. Uh, I think we're actually going to choose to go second. I think that's what I've found to be best with this deck just because we want to be able to get down a bunch of basic Pokemon uh, you know, as soon as possible on turn one. And usually we need a supporter to get down, you know, multiple Toxels, multiple Grimers, all that sort of stuff. So very curious what we're going to be playing against here. Hmm. You know, looking at our hand for turn one, not too bad. This is going to be kind of a rough professor's research, but of course we do play the multiple ordinary rods that's something we will have to kind of check on before we commit to the research uh, but here we see the drachi you see zero aura so this makes me think this is probably like a pre-rotation picarom i think it's a safe assumption this actually could be bad for us because we're actually not playing mew in this list so yeah oracory is probably not going to be too safe in this matchup and again i'm assuming this is uh it's going to be picarom based on the Zero Aura. So we see Invidrachi coming down, we see a scoop up net, so. We'll have to see what they're gonna grab here. I mean, we see the Zero Aura, so I mean, this still could be something like Vickable. It's just kind of hard to say at this point. Okay, so here's a quick ball. So no doubt we're gonna start seeing kind of a glimpse of what we're gonna be playing against here. Getting rid of a lightning energy, okay. Makes sense. Could even be a Dedenne to discard their hand. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna say right now my guess is gonna be with Picaron, but there's the Tap Coco. Electromagnetic radar. So yeah, another sign. This is probably just Picaron. And they do play Cynthia Caitlin. Interesting. Okay. That could make sense because if they're playing like tag call, grabbing Sifty K1 plus a Picarom could be good. Okay, yeah, so this looks like just pre rotation Picarom so far. I would assume so. Uh, Picarom post rotation doesn't seem that good at a glance. And here they're digging through the deck pretty good, which is, uh, of course, gonna that's gonna bode pretty well for us. <laughs> there is Speed Lightning. Hey, I'm happy to see that. Uh, guys, we're just going to have to be kind of careful, like I said, about benching those Oracorys because Tag Ball is going to be a thing we are going to have to worry about in this matchup. Okay, so there's that. So before we do anything, I'm just going to... Sure, we'll just Evolution Incense. Okay, so we did prize one Muck and one toxtricity that's bad Let's see we have both the ornate rods in deck that's actually pretty good we have our oracoria if we absolutely need it for some reason we have a ranguru we prize no draw support so that's actually good if we are gonna have to have a game here where we don't go for oracorio so just quick ball grab our homie toxel Let's see so we'll just get down Probably Curse Shovel here, because more than likely this thing's going to get knocked out. And we're going to collect this turn anyways. And from there, just research. Alright, so here... We're going to uh, communicate away the Oracorio. Go for another Toxel here. And I think we'll do this. And we'll just collect. Okay, so we got the Ranger. that's good. That's kind of, that's gonna be like our bench setting uh, consistency booster this game, ideally. Hopefully we never have to bench Oracorio. Maybe on like the final turn of the game if we're digging for something in particular. But we have the Twin Energy, we have Marty ready to go for next turn as well. Really wish we would have hit one of our Ordinary Rots because we'd have to toss two Toxtricities right off the bat. And we're already down to Communication and Evolution Incense. So Tag Call, I'm assuming we're going to see a Guzma Hollow to get their Thunder Mountain. 
that could be a safe assumption thunder mountain and a speed lightning so i'm actually totally down if they go for another speed lightning here so what they got rid of a reset stamp and the lightning pretty good for them So yeah, they're wasting their time digging through their deck. That's like the one good thing about this is like, even though they are no doubt eventually gonna tag bolt and take multiple prizes in a turn, they're at least digging through their deck at a good pace. So that's the one thing we have going for us here. And who knows, they might not even know what they're playing against to be honest guys. Uh, you know, Alone Grimer and Alone Muck is pretty obscure. There's a couple different toxicity, so I'll have to see which one they are gonna go for. There's the Thunder Mountain, gonna attach to the Bolton, seems good. And actually, uh, Full Blitz is kinda nice because it thins their deck for them too, so. Yeah, we need to get down a lot of different stuff this turn, just because we are gonna have to protect against the Tag Bolt. Tag Bolt's gonna be really problematic for us here. So let's see, how many energy have they gone through? Was it five, six, seven? Oh yeah, they have plenty of energy. So more than likely, even if we bump this, they are gonna have the response. So we'll do that. Does Curse Shovel only work on the active? No, it does not, so that's actually pretty good. Ooh, we got Erica, so I definitely like that. But I actually don't wanna reduce their hand size because that puts cards back into their deck. So we'll just go with the Erica's here. Okay, so we'll definitely do this. This wound up being kind of a decent turn. So, yeah, we just... Sure, we will communicate the... Oranger back in, I guess? Because I kind of want to bench this. We could save the quick ball. Yeah, I think we'll just do this. We have our lone Toxtricity. We really desperately need to hit um, an Ornate Rod on this next turn, like super bad. So we'll do this because we. I think I actually want to research next turn. And here we'll just go for Risk Taker. Nice, so we do not want to flip again. So I'm feeling kind of good about the state of this game, honestly, guys. Uh, we just have to hope our opponent doesn't have an attachment for turn. That's like the only, that would be that would be a huge save for us. But I went with the triple acceleration last turn because that's gonna get discarded anyways. And if we went with twin energy, um, potentially, depending on if they have anything to reset our hand, I wanna be able to preemptively attach a twin energy and then research, whereas we can't do that with the triple acceleration. Okay, so we're just going to go for the tag bolt here. And they're going to get four cards of their deck milled? Okay, yeah, so I think we're in a decent spot. This might even be the turn to go for Aura Choreo, if we're going to. Okay, so we'll do this. We need a lot here. We need like Evolution Incense and Ordinary Rod. Ooh, we did not get what we wanted here. We did get Communication, so if we do hit an Ordinary Rod, we're gonna be kind of in a good spot here. So this is the turn we do have to go for Dance Tribute. Tag Bolt has been used. Oh my God, that's so bad. <laughs> we might've lost this one, guys, literally just because of the of not hitting our ordinary rods. That's so bad. Nevertheless, we will go for Muck here. Okay, nothing there. So we're gonna pick up Muck. Try this again. If we do it stadium nap, I mean, it's, it's not nothing. 
pick up muck again with scoop up net just retreat and um yeah from there we're just going to collect unfortunately so i think that was definitely um a big big whiff for us on that turn absolutely huge so we just have to hope they don't have boss's orders. I mean, they haven't played one yet, but they are down too. So there's a chance our Oracorio or Toxel will remain safe. We just really, really need them to knock out Grimer because we can still win, right? Yeah, it's going to be close. Whiffing the Toxicity that turn is really bad. Okay, so there's the full blitz. So we definitely... Do still have a chance to make this happen. We just need there to be another item in their deck. So they should have actually one quick ball left and, oh no, they've used all of them. They just have different rarities. Yeah, so I actually think we can still win this one. So we'll do this. We're definitely gonna air because this turn ideally. So we're gonna go for the muck. We need to hit a card here. Oh my god. So their their whole deck is literally just not item cards. Okay, um let's see, let's see. So I mean we're definitely gonna do this no matter what. We're definitely going to scoop up net our muck here. So muck is worthless, it appears. So we kind of just like kind of want to burn cards at this point to be able to use Erica's because I really want to draw. We, like, we don't want to put cards back into the deck. So we need to. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we got to play down a good bit here. So I guess we'll just quick ball the muck. We'll go for a Ranguru. Um, let's see. The Primate Wisdom, we'll put Marnie on top of our deck here. So we're going to scoop up net, that way we can use this again. And so we're going to Erica's here. Alright, we finally hit an Ordinary Rod, so we can actually at least have a decent turn, but I honestly think we might be a card short at this point, as horrible as that is. So we're just going to do this. Um, we're going to Evolution Incense. We do have a Cursed Shovel. So that's our other saving grace here, potentially. Ooh, we actually need another Toxel, right? Or no, we just need Cursed Shovel and we're going to be good. see so we're going to quick ball we need to get rid of Marnie and we really need to hit our curse shovel here right or I guess as long as they don't bring up or Corey we win because we'll mill five they'll drop a turn uh, if they play a Marnie that would actually be pretty bad for us though so primate wisdom uh, sure we'll put communication back on top of deck no curse shovel so that's a bit of a bummer But yeah, at this point, we're just going to go for the Risk Taker. Nice. But yeah, guys, whipping that one turn of attacking really was a bummer. I'm assuming they're going to play a Marnie here to put everything back in their deck. Here, they're going to go for Bolton. Okay. Oh, and they have the Great Catcher too. Uh, so they are going to bring up the Oracorio. Guys, we were so close this game. We just had that one turn. Just that one turn where we whiffed really hard. Discarding those two Toxicity's turn one was such a bummer for us. But we brought it really close. They literally had zero cards in deck, so. 
man, that's just how it goes, I guess. Alrighty, so hop into another game here. We do win the flip, but we are going to choose to go second. So unfortunately, we do have to mulligan and uh, reveal our whole strategy to our opponent. They get to see like all the key cards uh, in our deck. So we do see a Psychic Dark deck box. So curious what this is going to be. Okay, so this is a, a decent little hand. It'd be nice if we could top deck a Pokemon, but we have a supporter. That's like the big thing. So that will at least bail us out. Oh, it's going to be Dragapult. Oh yeah, we, we're like 100% losing this one. Like, there's just no way we beat this deck. I mean, guys, we're going to try, but I guess we have Scoop Up Myth. That's like the one thing we do have going for us that that can allow us to heal some of that damage that they're going to be spreading. Playing Spell Tag, very interesting. Spell Tag, usually not a big card you see for Dragapult. That's good. We will discard the communication, I suppose. Oops, not Oracorio. We did prize a Toxel. That is unfortunate for us. We prized an energy. Looks like we prized a supporter. Two supporters. So I think it's manageable. Do we get greedy and put down the energy? It's probably not the right play, but we're going to go ahead and do it. <laughs> um, sure, we'll get down Gumwood Tangle as well. And just go for a Marnie here. Okay, so we'll go for the Grimer and then just collect here. Okay, so this is actually not a bad looking uh, little hand for next turn. More than likely, a Grimer is going to go down, which is definitely sad, but. Going to get down the Giratina. Doesn't affect our bench, though. Yeah, it only discards special energy from our active. So I don't know if they didn't read that closely enough, or maybe they're just going to research and they want it in play to be able to, like, scoop up net and use later. I'm guessing. There is the research from our opponent. Hopefully, they don't get Dragapult VMAX. But I think if they do, we're probably going to lose this game. That feels really bad. Because they can just keep spreading onto our bench Toxels and knock them out. There is another Quick Ball. So maybe see a Zigzagoon. That would actually be pretty bad if they do knock out our, our poor little Toxel here with Dragapult VMAX this turn. Okay, just gonna go for a regular drag pulp. That's even better. All right, so let's see what they're gonna get. I think if I if I was in my opponent's shoes, I would probably have gone for the Zigzagoon though. Maybe it's prized though. That could be the case. Okay, but here they're just going to pass back over to us. That's best case scenario, like absolutely for sure. So now we can actually get off two of our Alolan Mucks here. That's good. So we'll do that. We will scoop up net, pick up our Muck. Get down another Alolan Muck. Getting our scoop up net is going to be big. There we go. So get that guy down. We'll get down Curse Shovel. And... I think we need a lot this turn, so I think I'm actually just going to research this hand. Okay, that's pretty good. We can definitely work with this. Uh, we will scoop up net. And so we can communication. That way, if they do get like the dreaded double KO um, on this next turn, we will be able to have a third Toxel in play, which is definitely important. And I'm going to save this other Curse Shovel just in case of like some tool removal shenanigans or something like that. Let's go for the Risk Taker and we do it heads. That's great. So let's see what cards we're going to get rid of. Ooh, we got rid of the Zigzagoon. That's what's up. So yeah, our opponent definitely should have got that boy out of his deck uh, uh, last turn instead of the other Dragapult. So 
yeah, I feel pretty good. Yeah, I think we're we're starting to bypass the really sketchy phase of this game. Now, don't get it twisted, guys. We can still definitely lose this because the spread from Dragapult is just so good. They can take those double KOs and make things really difficult for us. Also, the attack here can play around our cursed shovels, which feels really bad as well. So they're spreading their damage around a little bit. That's fine. We need two Toxtricities realistically here, I think. We hit Muck, that's good. So we'll go and get this thing down. Sure. Okay. So I think we do this. Get Oracorio. Definitely going to. Oh, they did Bumper Stadium, which feels bad. Um, get that down. I'm just thinking do we Ordinary Rod to put Toxtricity back in deck first? I kind of want to hit our Stadium, though. So, yeah, we're just going to do that. I think that's what I want to prioritize here. And we do hit it. That's good. So we can do this. Yeah, this turn actually worked out a lot better than I was thinking it might have. <laughs> Get down a lone muck yet again. So we're actually just plowing through our opponent's deck here. Four items, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Get down our homie Grimer. <laughs> it's not too happy and I don't blame them. I'd probably be pretty triggered about this too if that was the case. <laughs> so we got there. We literally got everything that we wanted this turn. And we have our supporter for next turn as well, which is great. Now, everything can still go wrong if we flip double tails. <laughs> okay, we didn't. So let's go. Another five cards down the drain. Ooh, we saw the boss's orders hit the, the bin as well. Okay, so that's also good for us. So another two. I do another five after our attack as well. So I feel pretty good about the state of this game, to be honest. I think things could still go wrong with some crazy spread shenanigans. And also if... Um, we flip double tails. That would also, things could easily turn around here at the very end, but we're gonna go for Erica's Dance of Tribute. Okay, so what do we do? Definitely get down triple acceleration. We'll do that. Oh, Ordinary Rod, that's actually a pretty big discard. And from here, I think we just scoop up net our muck. Communicate Grimer back in deck for another Toxel. How many scoop up nets have we used? Ooh, all four. That's actually pretty bad. Uh, that could definitely mess us up a little bit, but. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see what happens. But a boss's orders actually could really screw with our deck at this point. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we want to hit. I think we've used both ornery rods. Yeah, those are down. Yeah, so I think at this point we just go for the risk taker. We really need a heads here. And we get there. So I think we're actually just gonna win. I mean they could Morny, or they could play another ornery rod or something, but 
I feel really good about the state of this game, guys. Now, there's still potentially a boss's orders left in deck. There's the shrine. Do they have the Marnie to go with this? Ooh, there's the boss's orders. Okay. So, they can't Marnie. And that's going to be the game, guys. So, we can just pass, and that's going to be it. Like, yeah, they can knock out Toxtra Seed, Big Whoop. Uh, but we can just pass, and that's going to be it. So yeah, just hit them with the uh, the old pass for game. And they have zero cards. So we are going to take down Dragapult VMAX and pretty a uh, commanding win um, there towards the end. That one turn in particular we had like two turns ago was particularly insane. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up our look at the Toxtricity mill deck. I have to say I'm not a big control player or mill player just in general. I usually have kind of strayed away from those decks, but... I think this deck is actually a lot of fun to play. I mean, it is kind of flippy, unfortunately. I think that's like the big thing that's probably going to make this deck not too competitive. Just the reliance on coin flip attacks. But I have to say, if you're just trying to have some fun on PTCGO and ruin someone's day, I think Toxtricity is actually a uh, pretty good deck to do something like that with. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is the list. Feel free to experiment with it at your heart's content. Uh, but with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy this deck today. If you did, smack that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you can, consider supporting this channel as well by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg or by picking up some merch from our online store, rarecandytcg.com. It would mean a lot. But as always, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.